Hello and welcome to All Expo and it's time to take a break from Euro Fever and talk about Tottenham. So it looks like Paolo Fonseca is going to be the man to replace Jose Mourinho. Spurs have been linked with every manager under the sun during the past few months, from Maurizio Pochettino to Graham Potter. But it finally looks like they found someone willing to take the job and it's none other than former Roma boss Paolo Fonseca. So basically, Roma and Tottenham have just swapped managers, with Mourinho heading to the Stadio Olimpico. But how will Fonseca get on at Spurs? He's hardly the most inspired choice compared to the other options, while fans are scratching their head at the fact this is a man who once made six substitutions in a game when he could only make five. But maybe we're writing him off too soon. Using Football Manager 2021, I'm going to give him the chance he deserves. He's reportedly signing a two-year deal, so that's exactly what I've given him using the Football Manager editor. So let's do it. My name's James, you're watching Alexpo, and this is Paolo Fonseca as Tottenham manager. Let's go. Right, here we are at the start of the simulation, the 10th of August 2020. As you can see, Tottenham are managed by Paolo Fonseca. How do you think he'll get on? I'm, I'm not really sure. I mean, considering we did this experiment with Maurizio Pochettino the other week and he got sacked after a season, I haven't got massively high hopes. Maybe Fonseca can prove it wrong. I mean, it's not like he's a bad manager. I always thought he was really good when he was a Shakhtar. I thought he would be the next Wolves boss, to be honest with you. But now that's Bruno Lager. Lager? It doesn't matter. We're here to talk about Paolo Fonseca. Obviously, we're, we're deviating away from the Euros today. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this during the Euros. Or while the tournament's on, do you only want Euro-style content? Let me know in the comments below. But what we will do, we will simulate a year in the future. Let's see how Paolo Fonseca's first year at Tottenham goes. Right, here we are, a year into the future, the 13th of June 2021, and things have gone absolutely Pete Tong. The Tottenham job is available, Man City have made an offer again, I'm going to assume that's Harry, not Herbie. So basically, things have gone absolutely terrible for Paolo Fonseca. Where did Tottenham come? They came 7th, behind Arsenal, behind Aston Villa, with no European football in sight for Spurs. It has gone exactly the same way for Fonseca as it did Pochettino, sacked after a year. That is so disappointing. Thank goodness Chris Wood got the golden boot to cheer us up. Harry Kane, 13 man of the match rewards. I'm sure he'll be getting even more when he signs for Man City over the summer. Second best player in the division with an average rating of 8.03. Tottenham, they got 56 points, two behind Aston Villa who came sixth. Obviously Burnley won one of the cups, which is effectively what has cost Tottenham a place in the Europa Conference League, a competition they probably wish they weren't actually in, in reality. But Paolo Fonseca has been sacked. When did he get his P45? It was the 23rd of May 2021. He lasted the full season, but a seventh place finish wasn't enough to keep him in the job. I mean, Christ, it was a pretty bad end of the season, to be honest with you. Things started all right, to be honest with you. Actually, that's that's a little bit of a lie. He started with a North London derby defeat to Arsenal. But after that, things were pretty good. Some big wins in the league, some big wins in the cup. But once the... I mean, Christ, this ending of the season was absolutely appalling. The Europa League, they were knocked out in the second round by Bayer Leverkusen. FA Cup, they made it to the semis, where they lost to Burnley. Ten-man Burnley, no less. And in the League Cup... They were beaten in the final, just like in reality. They lost to Man City in the real world. This time, they lost to Manchester United. Since the FA Cup semi-final on the 17th of April, Tottenham didn't win a single game. It was an appalling end to the season. It ended with a 2-2 draw away to Aston Villa. That was the final game for Fonseca. I mean, considering that end of the season, it's no surprise that he didn't keep his job. I mean, yes, he made a cup final, a semi-final. But that is a rotten finish to the campaign. And considering he's only on a two-year contract, they were probably just better off getting rid of him. I'm going to assume he hasn't really had a chance to sign anyone. We'll have a little look. No, not a single name brought in. He hasn't really had a chance to, has he? Didn't even get a proper... I mean, he obviously had the first summer, but they'd already made the signs. The likes of Gareth Bale and whatnot. Reg Rion, Matt Doherty. Fonseca didn't get a chance to put his own stamp on the team. And just as he's getting his feet under the table, he has been given the sack. Seventh in the Premier League. And the new Tottenham manager only lasted a year. That is so disappointing. We can't leave it here. You know what it is? I'm going to go back to the start. I'm going to simulate this again. Maybe this has just been a blip. I know we didn't do this with Pochettino, but I'm going to do it with Fonseca. He deserves another chance. Let's do it. Let's go for attempt two as Paolo Fonseca as Tottenham manager. Let's do it. 
Okay, attempt number two, here we are, the 20th of June 2021, and just like last time, things have gone absolutely west. Tottenham are looking for a manager once again. They've done slightly better, in fairness to them, they've at least qualified for next season's Europa League. Tottenham coming sixth, getting into the... Well, I was going to say getting into the top six by the skin of the teeth, to be honest. Europa League football confirmed, better than last season, where they didn't even make it into Europe. Chris Wood still getting the golden boot, my man. Harry Kane, more Man of the Match awards than anyone, yet again. But all of this wasn't enough to keep Paolo Fonseca in the job. I mean, if you look at the points, Tottenham got 61. They were 12 points behind Chelsea, who finished 5th. They were 30 points behind the winners at Liverpool. When you look at it like that, it has not been a great season for Tottenham. Let's have a look at when Fonseca was sent on his marching orders. Yet again, it was the 23rd of May, 2021. On the final day of the season... Fonseca was sacked. Has there been any more joy? Yet again, they start the season with a 2-0 defeat to Arsenal. In the Cups, how have they gone on? A poor yet again. Well, not poor. The last time, at least, they made a final. League Cup, they were knocked out of the third round after being beaten finalists in attempt number one. FA Cup, they made it to the quarters. Did worse than attempt number one as well. They made it to the semis there. Europa League, they went a little bit further, but they were still beaten in the quarterfinals. And when you look at the Premier League form, they've just been so inconsistent. Fonseca has barely been able to get a run of form going. I mean, there's been a few patches here and there, particularly over Christmas, they were impressive. But overall, they've finished sixth, which I mean, sixth isn't a bad place for Tottenham when you consider the talent around them. But to be so far behind all of their rivals is a huge disappointment to have no cup success to, you know, Maybe take the sting off a little bit. Paolo Fonseca, two attempts in a row, he has been sacked. This is this is going quite poorly, to be honest with you. So we've tried it two times. Tottenham looks they got better in the attempt number two. They came sixth, not seventh. But still, Paolo Fonseca has been sacked. You know what? Third time's a charm. Let's do it. Let's give Paolo Fonseca one more crack at being the Tottenham manager. Can he do it? Come on, Paolo, I believe in you. Don't. Please don't let me down. This is Tottenham fans are banging the heads off the keyboards watching the video here. This is desperate, man. Come on, Paolo. Third time's a charm. Let's do better this time. Come on. Okay, for the third time in this video, we are here on the 20th of June 2021, and Tottenham are a picture of consistency. They finished seventh, sixth, and seventh again. 60 points, another somewhat average tally. They've qualified for the Europa Conference League. Harry Kane, best player in the division yet again. Good for him. Well, more man than match awards ever. This time he's actually been the top average rated player. But what has happened to the manager? It is no longer Paolo Fonseca. Things have gone so badly this time that by the 20th of June, Tottenham have already found their next manager. They've gone for Massimiliano Allegri, another huge name like they've had with Jose Mourinho. Much bigger name than Paolo Fonseca. But what happened to the Portuguese gaffer. When did he lose his job? Christ, this has gone even... Oh, this has gone even worse than before. At least before he was last in a full season. This time, Fonseca was sacked on the 27th of February, 2021. He didn't even last a full season. Let's have a look at the table, see where Tottenham were when Fonseca was handed his P45, when he got the sack, when Daniel Levy sent him packing back to back to wherever as long as it wasn't white hart lane daniel levy didn't care tottenham were beaten 3-1 by chelsea they were down in seventh place it was the lowest they'd been all season really after the table started to plateau out after a few games but even still it seems a little bit harsh to have sacked him after that it's not like things were going terribly they were fifth for a lot of the season only dropped a couple of places and even when allegri came in they didn't improve, they stayed 7th. Tottenham, Daniel Levy, man, there's... I mean, I'm judging him here for Saka and Paolo Fonseca, but he was hardly doing very well. Was there any cup success or were they dumped out of that? They were dumped out of the League Cup third round under his watch. Um, Christ, they didn't even make it through the Europa League groups. I mean, when you look at it like that, it's no wonder Fonseca got the sack early, at least in the other simulations. You know, he was... He had something to look forward to after Christmas. To be fair, once Tottenham were knocked out of the Europa League, they were doing well. Look at this run. 
They were brilliant. Some had, had some great results there. Well, they had some results. It's green the one. What more can you ask for? FA Cup, they made it to the quarterfinals, beaten by Man City. And an inconsistent finish to the campaign for Max Allegri leaves Tottenham dreaming of a new era under their wily Italian. But for Paolo Fonseca, it has been an absolute disaster. Has he got a new job at least? Let's have a little look. Paolo Fonseca is... He's unemployed. No one wants Paolo Fonseca. We've tried it three times. We've given him three cracks at being Tottenham manager. Season one, finished seventh, beaten in a cup final. Season two, finished sixth, didn't make a cup final. Season three, didn't even make it past February. He didn't make it to Easter. He didn't get an Easter egg. And that is the true horror of this video. Tottenham fans, based on this, maybe Paolo Fonseca isn't the man for you. But, you know, maybe Daniel Levy knows something we don't. We will see in the coming months. But we will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you around.